Hiya, my name is Aileen. And my name is Nelly. And we have a lovely song for you today called Paul, Paul and, and Nancy, Nancy Hogan. Hogan. And this is a song that we've learned from the singing of Paddy Berry. Paddy is a traditional singer and song collector from Wexford. So the first thing that we're going to do uh, is sing the chorus for you. So are you listening? With my do I fall the diddle da, do I fall the diddle dare Now what was all that about? Do you think that meant anything in an, any language, did it now? No. Definitely not. That's pure nonsense. So they're just made up sounds or vocables. Pure nonsense set to the air of the tune so that you can sing it. And in traditional Irish music we have this in the form of lilting or jigging, some people call it, or gob music. What's your gob now? Your mouth. Your mouth. So gob music is mouth music. So just made up sounds to sing along. So we're going to teach you that little chorus now. So listen first while I sing the line. And then you sing it back along with Nelly. Yeah. So. With my two eye a fall a diddle da. With my two eye a fall a diddle da. Do I fall a diddle dero? Do I fall a diddle dero? Great. So now let's put that together, those two lines. Are you ready? With my do I a fall the diddle da do I fall the diddle dero. So we're going to sing the first verse for you so that you can hear it, and we're going to follow it with the chorus so you can join in. In Wexford town there is a place, a place called Ballybogan, and in that place there. Two maids called Paul and Nancy Hogan with my two eye a fall the diddle da do I fall the diddle dero. So let's go back to that first verse then. Here's how we're going to learn it. I'll sing the line for you and then you listen and sing along back with Nelly again. All right, so in Wexford town there is a place. In Wexford town there is a place A place called Ballybogan A place called Ballybogan And in that place there live two maids And in that place there live two maids Called Paul and Nancy Hogan Called Paul and Nancy Hogan Let's put all that together and then into the chorus. So. In Wexford town there is a place, a place called Ballybogan, and in that place there live two maids called Paul and Nancy Hogan. With my do I a fall the diddle da, do I fall the diddle dero? So we'll sing the second verse for you. Now Nancy bought a little pig and she hired Paul to mind it and just like any other little pig it carried its tail behind it with my do I a fall the diddle da do I fall the diddle dero and we'll teach you that now so it goes now Nancy bought a little pig now Nancy bought a little pig and she hired Paul to mind it and she hired Paul to mind it and just like any other little pig and just like any other little pig it carried its tail behind it it carried its tail behind it that's it so sing it together with us now and into the chorus again so now Nancy bought a little pig and she hired Paul to mind it and just like any other little pig it carried its tail behind it with my do I a fall the diddle da do I fall the diddle dero Next verse Old Paul she bought another one and isn't it a wonder 
That in a week you wouldn't know These two little pigs asunder With my two ri a fa da diddle da do ri fa da diddle dare So I'll sing a line, it goes. Old Paul, she bought another one Old Paul, she bought another one And isn't it a wonder and isn't it a wonder that in a week you wouldn't know that in a week you wouldn't know these two little pigs asunder these two little pigs asunder so what does that mean to tell tell them asunder nelly that means you can't tell them apart yeah so the two little pigs were the very same going around one as the other so we'll sing that now so we'll sing the verse and into the chorus again Old Paul, she bought another one And isn't it a wonder That in a week you wouldn't know These two little pigs asunder With my two ri a fa da diddle da do ri fa da diddle dare And the next verse Two collions walking down the road As the two little pigs were feeding Pulled out their knives, cut off their tails, and sent them home a squealing with my two ri a fa da diddle da, two ri fa da diddle dero. So there's a word that comes up here, and it's collions, two collions. So what does the word collion mean, Nelly? Um, it isn't it an Irish word for pup. Yeah, it is. So it is the Irish word for a pup. But it doesn't, in this case, just mean a young dog. It means a pup, as in if you said to a little fellow who's after being bold, well, you're some little pup, the big mess you're after making here, or you're a right little divil, little pup. And these two boys are certainly right little pups. Uh, so we'll teach it to you, and I'll sing the line, and you sing back with Nelly. Two collions walking down the road Two collions walking down the road As the two little pigs were feeding As the two little pigs were feeding Pulled out their knives, cut off their tails Pulled out their knives, cut off their tails And sent them home a squealing And sent them home a squealing Let's sing that all together, so. Two collions walking down the road As the two little pigs were feeding Pulled out their knives, cut off their tails And sent them home a-squealing With my two ri a fa da diddle da do ri fa da diddle dare And so this was a very serious offence. So it ended up in court. Now... Nancy went to the court of law before the judge and jury and up steps Paul before the bench for to read her story saying if your honour was a pig which I hope you'll never be sir if a blackguard came and cut off your tail wouldn't you roar and bawl and squeal sir with my two ri a fa da diddle da do I follow the diddle dero? So did you see what happened there? There's two verses that run into each other without singing the chorus. So what I'm going to do then is go back to that verse and sing the line again for you to sing. And it goes... Now Nancy went to a court of law now Nancy went to the court of law Before the judge and jury Before the judge and jury When up steps Paul before the bench When up steps Paul before the bench For to read her story saying For to read her story saying So we'll put that much together first. So the saying there is a kind of a bridge between the two verses instead of the chorus this time. So now Nancy went to the court of law. Ready? Yeah. Now Nancy went to the court of law before the judge and jury 
And up steps Paul before the bench for to read our story saying. And this is what Paul says. So she's trying to get the judge or the magistrate to see it from the pig's point of view and from Paul and Nancy's point of view. She's, she's standing up for them and she says, If your honour was a pig, if your honour was a pig, which I hope you'll never be, sir, which I hope you'll never be, sir, if a blackguard came and cut off your tail, if a blackguard came and cut off your tail, wouldn't you roar and bawl and squeal, sir? Wouldn't you roar and bawl and squeal, sir? And a blackguard, by the way, in case you haven't heard the term, is another name for a right little pup or a little divil up to no good. So let's sing that first. If, if your honour was a pig, which I hope you'll never be, sir, if a blackguard came and cut off your tail, wouldn't you roar and bawl and squeal, sir? So we'll skip the chorus there because you know it well enough. Move on to the next verse and it goes. Sing it with me. Yeah. The magistrate stood up and said, Their rumps will soon be mending And pigs will snore and fatten more Without their tails attending. So it goes. The magistrate stood up and said, The magistrate stood up and said, Their rumps will soon be mending, Their rumps will soon be mending, And pigs will snore and fatten more, And pigs will snore and fatten more, Without their tails attending, Without their tails attending. So sing it together. The magistrate stood up and said, Their rumps will soon be mending, And pigs will snore and fatten more, Without their tails attending. We're near the end of the song now, couple yeah. of verses left. Sing this one, it goes. These two well women, Paul and Nan, They lived a life quite airy, there wasn't a word that yeah, ever they spoke, but, but every word contrary. So listen to me sing the line again, join in with Nelly. It goes, These two well women, Paul and Nan, These two well women, Paul and Nan, They lived a life quite airy, They lived a life quite airy, there wasn't a word that ever they spoke. There wasn't a word that ever they spoke. But every word contrary. But every word contrary. Now sing along with us. Ready? These two well women, Paul and Nan, they lived a life quite airy. There wasn't a word that ever they spoke. But every word contrary. So what do you think that was like if they were contrary all the time, Nelly? They're always fighting. Yeah, and probably disagreeing with each other. So they might say on a day like today, one might say, isn't that a lovely sunny day out there? And the other one would say, ah, there's an awful cowl down wind though. That kind of thing. Never agree. So we're into the last verse. Oh, Nancy died on a Saturday night and, and Paul, she died on a Sunday. They wake them both on a Sunday night and bury them both on Monday. So, I sing the line again, you listen? Owl Nancy died on a Saturday night. Owl Nancy died on a Saturday night. And Paul, she died on a Sunday. And Paul, she died on a Sunday. They wake them both on a Sunday night. They wake them both on a Sunday night And bury them both on Monday And bury them both on Monday So let's sing it together and this time, because we're at the end, let's sing the chorus after it. Owl Nancy died on a Saturday night And then Paul she died on Sunday They wake them both on Sunday night And bury them both on Monday With my 
to ray a fall the diddle da to ray fall the diddle dare o so now we're going to sing the whole song together from start to finish you ready so it starts on this note in are you ready in Wexford town there is a place a place called Ballybogan and in that place there lived two maids called Paul and Nancy holding with might to raya fall the diddle da to right fall the diddle dare oh now Nancy bought a little pig and she hired Paul to mind it and just like any other little pig, it carried its tail behind it with my to ray a fall the diddle da to ray fall the diddle dare o. Now Paul she bought another one, and isn't it a wonder that in a week you wouldn't know these two little pigs asunder with my to ray a. Fall the diddle da, to right fall the diddle dare o. Two collions walking down the road as the two little pigs were feeding, pulled out their knives, cut off their tails, and sent them home a squealing with my to right a. Fall the diddle da, to right fall the diddle dare o. Now Nancy went to the court of law before the judge and jury and up steps Paul before the bench for to read her story saying if your honour was a pig which I hope you'll never be sir if a blackguard came and cut off your tail wouldn't you roar and bawl and squeal sir with my to raya Fall the diddle da, to right fall the diddle dare o. The magistrate stood up and said, Their rumps will soon be mending, And pigs will snore and fatten more, Without their tails attending, With my to right a. Fall the diddle da, to right fall the diddle dare o. These two old women, Paul and Nan, they lived a life quite dairy. There wasn't a word that ever they spoke, but every word contrary. With my do I a fall the diddle da, do I fall the diddle dare o. Now Nancy died on a Saturday night, and Paul she died on Sunday. They waked them both on a Sunday night and bury them both on Monday with my to ray a fall the diddle da to ray fall the diddle dare o with my to ray a fall the diddle da to ray fall the diddle dare o. Well. We hope you enjoyed singing that and you had a great day for Crin Yun and Og 2020. So from me, Aileen. And me, Nelly. Slán. Slán. See you.